good looking. Stick around for this, a fun and effective ab workout. Heck, plunk this in after a workout, after a cardio workout, strength workout, or do it as a standalone when you wanna hit and target those abdominals. Now listen, this is also osteoporosis friendly because I'm not doing any abdominal crunches. So lace up those runners, let's go get busy. Hello there, hey, welcome. I'm PJ from fitnesswithpj.com and hey, I help women over the age of 40 reclaim the tush of their 20s. Or maybe you're thinking, PJ, I would just be fine with the tush of my 40s. <laughs> Whatever the case, this is the channel for you. And if you haven't already, I encourage you to subscribe so that we can continue getting more fit tips, videos, and workouts your way. Now, this is a core workout and as I said, it's osteoporosis friendly because we're not doing any abdominal crunches. However, that doesn't mean it's gonna be easy. So, you ready? Of course you are. All right, we have one round, no repeat. 40 seconds on, 10 exercises. Let's get ourselves set up here. Knees are bent over the, oh, on top of the hips. Perfect. Lift the upper body up just a bit so the head's off your ground. Arms extend straight up for me. Now this could be enough. You may be just fine right here. But if you want to see if you can increase the intensity, you extend the legs and drop the arms for what we call a hollow hold, and then go back here. Now, if you have a sensitive low back, maybe your hollow hold is one leg at a time. Because again, remember, if you've done my videos in the past, I always encourage you when we're training our abs that you don't feel back pain, all right? Just ab pain <laughs> or discomfort, all right? Breathe with it. Now our next exercise, we're on our hands, time. Okay, for a wide mountain climber, beginners, place your hands either on some yoga blocks to pop the hips up, or maybe your coffee table or a chair. Everybody else, wrists underneath the shoulders, nice long plank, now take one leg, step it right beside the pinky, and we're as close to the pinky as you can, and then the other leg. So we're holding the high plank. Again, hands are elevated if you find that you've got tight hips, or if you're just starting out with me, and this is a challenging move. Once you elevate your ground, it'll decrease your intensity considerably. But we're working into core in addition to hip mobility here too, so which is kind of nice to get two moves, or two areas addressed in one move. 40 seconds on the clock. We're seated for a V-sit coming up. Whew. Time, nice. All right, V-sit, here's our setup. Knees bent, feet planted, and lift the spine up. So I want you to think about stacking that vertebrae, one on top of the other, ears over shoulders. Extend the arms. Now, keeping that vertebrae stacked, we simply lean back. The further back you lean up, back, the harder it is on the abs, but again, we shouldn't round the spine and we shouldn't feel low back pain. So you go back as, back as you can, maintaining neutral without pain. Now, you're gonna feel the hips, okay? There's no doubt about that, the hip flexors are working, but we're also hitting deep into the core muscle. Whew, and breathe, don't forget, we need breath. <laughs> Shoulders relaxed and pulled down. We're on our forearms coming up next. No movement here, it's just simply a rock solid V-sit time. Onto the forearms. Knees to modify, otherwise off of the knees, feet apart, and we roll the hip to one side, back to center, the other side, go. On the knees, it simply looks like so. Okay, now with this move, I find my feet start to slip away from me, so you may have to walk them towards you after each hip roll, as normal. On our backs, coming up. Time. Extend the legs. Bring the hands underneath the bum. Some scissor kicks. Keep the head on the ground. Pull the abs in and keep that low back anchored. 
Extend the legs and slowly scissor kicks. Now, if you have a hard time keeping the low back on your mat, lift the legs up. So that's how you would decrease the intensity. Now, if you'd like to increase it a bit more and it feels okay on your neck, you can lift the head up and look at the toes. Slow and controlled, point the toes, move through the hips, not the knees. Breathe, remember breath is important. <laughs> head down or up, up to you. Legs low or high, whatever's working for you. We're almost there, remember one set, time. Take yourself onto that bottom knee, elbow underneath the shoulder. Lift up into a side plank for me. Now bring the top arm and reach it up over the ear. Pull the top knee towards you while you bring that elbow in to meet it and back in. Advanced, feet stacked, knee off your ground and continue. Other side coming up. Woo, losing my balance on this one. Time, it's a great move to hit the obliques, our waist muscles. Okay, as I said, other side. So let's start on the knee. Okay, so start with that bottom knee bent on your ground. Lift your hip up, shoulder elbow aligned, reach that top arm up over the ear and then draw in. And then if that feels okay for you and you think, yeah, you know what, I could try it out, then take that top leg or bottom leg and straighten it out. Keep that hip lifted. Shoulder away from that bottom ear, not shrugging into that shoulder there, being strong. On our backs, coming up next. Time. Knees and tabletop, arms extended straight up. Now here's the important cue on this one. Pull your belly button in and anchor your spine. Nice and slow, drop your left leg, straightening it and the opposite arm down to your ground at the same time. Pull it back, other side. The whole cue on this exercise is keeping that low back anchored. So if you find that low back starts to lift as the limbs lower, I want you to reset. They call this exercise a dead bug, training the same muscles as we do in a plank. But it's super important that you get the form on this, okay? You want to feel your abs, hips, you're going to feel a little bit, right? Because we're moving the leg, but we're anchoring that low back using the deep core muscle, your transverse. Time. Now keep your legs up here for me. Slide your fingertips underneath your low back. Pull your belly button in and do you feel that pressure on your fingertips? Perfect, so that's that pressure I was talking about last on the dead bug. Now let's keep this pressure and let's do the leg drop now, just one leg. Now as that leg extends, you're gonna feel the low back want to lift off. That's where you have to really set that core. Now advanced people, you can straighten the legs and do a single leg drop. I'm not a big fan of double leg drops. I find for most of us, it irritates the back more than it trains the abs. But if you are, if that's a move that you can do and just hit the abs and not your low back, go for it. Otherwise, knee bent or single leg drop with me. We're moving on to our final move after this. And it's a plank. Ah, <laughs> time on the forearms. Knees to modify. We are taking left leg, pressing it up without pushing the bum up and then the right leg. Hip extension, ready. Set that core, get set, and go. Slow and controlled, we wanna keep those hips squared. As you lift the leg up, be aware you're not pushing your bum up with it, okay? So we get a nice length in the front of the leg as we're lifting it up, working into the glutes, as well as working into our core muscles. Elbows under shoulders, neck long, and what did I say earlier? 
breathe. <laughs> Time, nicely done. All right, let's just stretch out the abs. Easiest stretch in the world. Arms overhead, straighten the legs. If you want, you can grab onto the hands, press them, push the toes away. So I hope you enjoyed this workout. As I mentioned earlier, if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, if you liked it before you take off, hey, let's do a thumbs up. Show some love. Drop a comment below. Ah. And stick around for this fit tip that I'm gonna put up here. It's on how to measure your ankle mobility. And you might be thinking, I don't really care about my ankle mobility, PJ. If you work out and if you do any type of squat pattern, then you need to know about your ankle mobility. So stick around to the last 15 seconds of this video and you can just click on the video that's gonna be appearing. Whew, that was easy for me to say. Anyways, thanks so much for joining me. I really appreciate it. Hey, come and join us on Patreon. The information's down below. And I want to thank that community because it is solely due to them that these workouts are here on YouTube. Have a great rest of your day. Mwah.